Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of Real Life. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, let me go ahead and say this. BTW, I am so sorry that I had to postpone this. It's been busy for three and last week and this week. And, mm -hmm. Oh, of course. And then also your girl almost, like, accidentally watched the wrong episodes. I was very close to watching the OVA episodes and not this. And, because, oh God, it happened so weirdly. I was like, all right, let's go ahead and watch it. And I look and it's like Christmas. And I was like, wait, 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 time out. I was like, hold up. And then I figured it out and I was like, oh, I'm so stupid. Little careless mistake. See, I'm still thinking, like, she might be the co-host, co co-worker that he worked with in the past who possibly, like, he maybe fell in love with, maybe? But, of course, we're not going to find that out till later, right? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's a very amusing folding technique, but... <laughs> Makes us a wonder, are we going to fucking learn about the other test subject? And if we do, it's going to be way later on. It's probably going to be one of the OVA episodes. <laughs> yeah, but something tells me, Anita, like, you're going to fall for her. It's very obvious. Jesus. <sighs> because, I mean, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Well, this is our opportunity to do that. <laughs> hmm? You okay? Oh, of course, that's cute. <laughs> mm. oh, someone's jealous. Yeah, because... Cause something retells me that <laughs> if if she is also taking part of this ta this test as well, her thing is has to making friends, of course. Because something tells me in her adult life she is not the greatest at making friends. So her thing is just to go back in time. Yeah, let me make some make friends. Da 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 da. This is that and the third. Because she's a loner. I get that. I don't know, because, like, Hiro is just so freaking mysterious that it's not even funny. I mean, really, every one of this, even though this is only episode three, everybody is mysterious. But she's the most, like, there's something else. Excuse me. Nice toss. Kazu's just gonna... Kazu, what the hell was that? <laughs> you talk... Bruh. I mean, neither has I, but I can do a better throw than that. God, remember your body. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, why 
I need you more, Bumper. Oh. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, if you only knew, Kazu. And I'm like you too! <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, damn, she's spreading it like it's nobody's business. Seriously? Mm -hmm. To be second best to someone else. Mm. Yeah, but you seem like the type of person who just wants to compare her shit to somebody else, right? Oh my god. He's so cute. He kind of apologizes like Makoto from free like way too much, but it's adorable. Oh. Because <laughs> when he talks, he kind of sounds like, oh my god, what the fuck is his name from freaking Haiku? Um. Mm, oh my god, I can't remember his name. And I can't. Oh, God, her smile, her smile. <laughs> we'll see about that. She said. <laughs> Give it about two, three episodes and you ain't gonna remember Rena's name. Yeah. 
I mean, hey, it made the most sense. She's just doing what she's got to do. See, now I don't think Chizuru would be a part of this testing thing. Why? Because of the fact is Renna said they knew each other last year, even though, you know, Chizuru didn't remember Renna at all. So, but then, God, you know, we'll talk more about it at the end of the episode, because, mm, because see, he's an adult as well. So then it would also make the most sense. Let's say Rena failed. And so she's like, hey, let me give one more go and be better at it. And then that would make the most sense. I don't know. That's just a guess. I know you're perv. Yeah, because remember, at the end of the day, you still are an adult. I don't even know. You're probably in the back. Oh, shit! Oh, you were doing so good. You know, a man's pride probably would just go away right there. Uh, poor <laughs> oh, she's a Of course. That's a smile. Oh. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Okay, show me a picture. You had nothing for this whole person the whole year? Maybe even more? Mm. <laughs> Brenna. I mean, yeah, Brenna seems very, like, highly suspicious as well. You know what? No, strike that. Honestly, all, <laughs> and I've said this already in this episode, everybody looks, is very suspicious, but when you're trying to kind of weave out, like, okay, you're looking to see, okay, out of all these kids right here, who's really a kid and who's a, an adult in disguise as a kid? We know it's <laughs> Kai, because it's obvious. Cheese Dude is really like on my number one list. Ren, uh, it's a little bit of a maybe because I feel like she's just an adult and she's just jealous in a way. Even though I do like her as a character, she's very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh my god. Sorry. But, bruh, like, mm mm. I got a lot of unanswered questions once again, but still. The fact is that the the gap between text subject one and Kai is very different because of the fact is like the f ugh, I can't even speak. Oh my god! Each day that he was reading, it said text subject one, nothing changed. And the fact is that you know with Kai, Kai is really trying to make an amends and he's really trying to change for the good. And I'm really happy for him. It's just gonna take a little while, but it's like to me thinking. Is a year enough for him? That's why I'm thinking, like, cheese a dude, this is kind of like her second chance at it. Because we don't know what test subject one looks like. That's the problem. So test subject one could have been a man, a woman, whoever. But because of the fact is, in that booklet, since we're looking from, like, a different day, we haven't seen the front of who the fuck this person looks like. So, yeah, something really tells me that by the time I get to the OVA episodes... That's when we'll officially be able to see Test Subject 1 and to see what in the world Test Subject 1 got into. Now, going into Chizuru, um, like I said, like, her opportunity is for making friends and, you know, maybe being a little more affectionate and such because she is one of those types of girls or types of children or kids that is very quiet to themselves. Hell, I'm like that even as an adult. I'm very shy into myself, but once you get to know me, like... I come out of my shell and I'm like a damn butterfly and I'm like talking, talking, da da da. <laughs> but with her, it, she's very, when you look at her, you're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about her. Do you think she's kind of friendly? Even though she is, you don't know if she would be able to want to have friends, especially with whatever the heck she's possibly has going on as of right now. Because this is only episode three and we barely really know anything about any of these characters, but especially Chizuru. So, here's hoping that, you know, the rest of the series gives me something on her because that's all I need. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four and three, two, one, go. I'm 
but She's a do. Somebody please help this girl learn how to smile. I feel like Rona has to be the one to teach her. Like, oh, hey, this is how you smile. You're not the villainous smirk. <laughs> uh, I can't. I'm hangry. <laughs> I don't know why, but like Rena reminds me of Reese for Persona 4. If Reese was like really, really pissed off, like I. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost without even trying, and you're still second place of both of them.
Are y'all really truly ashamed? Like, god dang, how is it hard? Like, is it worse than last week? Oh my god! Then get on it, damn! And how is that working out for you? Four episodes in, and she's still eating on her own. She's not there. Oh, no, she's still there. Rena. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, Rena kind of wants to ask Homer, <laughs> but it's like, mm. Because you care about her, that's the thing. I mean, you, it's, once again, it's obvious that you have feelings for her and that you like her. But at the same time, because we know nothing about her, how in the world could you be like, I like her, but you don't know if she's her age or if she's in her 20s? She just wanted to match. <laughs> yeah, I think Rena's gonna be your first friend. Hell, there are some antisocial adults, so I mean, come on now. Some people get like panic attacks when they try to social with someone or anything. True. 
Hey. Something's just different about her. Yeah, I get that. until it goes by like fairly quickly. Hmm? <laughs> Even though he's gonna be gone, it doesn't mean you don't need to be studying. You always need to be studying no matter what. No, just <laughs> Kai is the only one who makes her smile like that. <laughs> Why wasn't she enjoying practice before?
to have friends. I swipe up. Don't do anything to her bag. Mm-mm. It was everything. Cody. Cody. Yeah, and you taking someone's stuff. So just go back and return it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put two and two together. There you go. Let's mm, tease it his bag. Wait! You're only taking it because you're... Oh, shit.
okay, though. And then, you know, Cheezer is just walking up like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Rena is obviously jealous of Chizuru. And I, I get why, but at the same time, like, really, you shouldn't be jealous of her. I get the fact that, you know, you want to be number one and you want to be with Oga slash Kazu. And the fact is that, you know, Chizuru is calling Oga by Kazu and such. And I'm guessing she wants to do that as well because something tells me that, um... <sighs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You're in love with Kazu. <laughs> Which I get it. He, he cute. He adorable. But now since Shizuru has walked up on this, like, whoo, whoo, whoo! <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the heck is about to happen? Mm. I don't think, because, you know, what if someone says, oh, it's just a big mistake! I don't know. Mm. But who knows? That's all I gotta say. But, I mean, oh God. Rena, honey, bunny. See, because it, it seems like next week it's going to be everything, her anxiety, everything that's bottling up inside of her, it's going to rush out of her so quickly. And so she's going to, in the end, take it out on Shizuru. It's very obvious with the way it's going to go. And I, I mean, I hope we get to see, like, why the way she, mm, How do I say this? Like, especially with the scene of her alone on the volleyball court, a little volleyball court, or in the gym, basically talking and thinking about so many different things, and she's wondering like why she's like that, and it makes you wonder going into next week, are we going to kind of get um, a conclusive answer to that? I mean, you know, it we could, but then at the same time, we could die. It just really depends on how the next two episodes are going to word this and kind of end her story because I feel like once we end one person's story, we're going to continue on to someone else's where everybody's, like, hopes, dreams, stories, everything will all, like, meet up together into the final episode or the final, like, OVAs of this show, possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that, but who knows. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of real life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the national squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episodes five and six bye guys